Hey everybody, welcome back. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 is coming out tomorrow and I wanna show you what I'm gonna be doing to make sure that I'm ready for the release and what you can do to make sure that you're ready to get your best performance right off the bat in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So let's take a look. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you update your driver to 566.14 for NVIDIA graphics cards. There's two reasons why you want to do that. Number one, there's some very important security updates that came with the previous driver, 566.03, which are included with this driver, 566.14. There's eight vulnerabilities that NVIDIA identified that could lead people to be able to access your computer and your information. You don't want that happening. So obviously you want the latest updates for security reasons. However, the other reason you want 566.14 is because this new driver that was released last week has been optimized for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So let's talk about how we get it and how we install it. First things first, if you are using the new NVIDIA app, which is now out of beta and I do recommend using, you can just do it simply through the drivers page here on the app. You just come here and you'll see in the upper left, which driver you have installed. If it's not 566.14, it's going to give you the option to download and install this driver. The one thing that you wanna make sure of when you install this driver is do not install the HD audio driver. That's very, very important. It's gonna give you the option to install the driver, the Physics system software, and the HD audio driver. The driver obviously you want, the Physics software is not updated so if you've already got a previous version you don't need to update it if you don't have the physics software for whatever reason you can update you can add that you can install that but the third option the hd audio driver do not install it now if you do have another driver installed and you don't want either in the nvidia app or geforce experience to be installed with your driver what you can do is you can do a complete removal of your previous driver using Display Driver Uninstaller. I'll put a link in the description. You come here, you download the program, run the installer, and you do the setup. And then when this opens, this is the program. So what you're gonna wanna do to use DDU correctly is relaunch your PC in safe mode and then use the program to uninstall your driver. And you're gonna, so you're gonna, rest, you're gonna restart your PC in safe mode, open DDU, and then you're gonna have, you, you have these three options. You're gonna select your GPU, which is what you want removed, Nvidia, and then you're gonna click here on clean and restart. And it will, it will, completely remove the driver that you have and then restart your PC with no driver installed. Then you can install the new NVIDIA driver 566.14 from scratch and I'll show you how to do that. To install this driver from scratch, you just come here to the download page. I'll put a link in the description. It's good for Windows 11 or Windows 10. Click on download, save the driver. It will take a minute or two to download. Then once you have it downloaded, again, just double click and run the installer. If you don't want to install the app, just deselect the NVIDIA app. And again, install the driver. The physics software is fine if you want to install that. Do not install the HD audio driver, unless you're using speakers that are running through your, micro, through your monitor. If you're using speakers running through your monitor, then you would want the HD audio driver if you don't, don't install it. And once you have your new driver installed, after you've installed Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, you're gonna wanna check to see what DLSS file they deliver the game with. I don't know which DLS file they're gonna, DLSS file they're going to include. I'm assuming it's not gonna be the latest one. So to check which one Flight Sim 2024 has, you're gonna to wanna to open DLSS Swapper. If you don't have it, I will put a link in the description for DLSS Swapper. I'm also gonna show you in a minute how to install this DLSS file manually if for whatever reason you don't wanna use DLSS Swapper. 
You come down here to the gear, the settings here in the lower left hand corner. Make sure all of the game libraries are enabled. Any game with X that runs through Xbox app or Steam is going to be detected by DLSS Swapper. So whether you have the Steam version or whether you have the store version of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, it will pick it up. And then you come here to the games page and it should show you an icon for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 and it'll say which DLSS file it has. If it's not 3.8.10, and I'm assuming it won't be, you're gonna to wanna to come here to the library and make sure you see DV 3.8.10, click here on the down arrow and that will download the latest version of the DLSS file. I have two copies because I manually installed mine earlier, but just click on that down arrow, it will install the file into the program. Come back here to the games page, click on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, and then it's gonna ask you which DLSS version you want. Click on 3.8.1, click swap, and you are done. If for whatever reason you don't want to use DLSS Swapper, if you'd like your life to be more complicated than it needs to be, we can do that as well. Come here to Tech Power Up, I'll put a link in the description. Click on download, click on your server. It's gonna download the file for you. Once you have the zip file downloaded, just extract the file, open it, and you've got this nvngx underscore dlss dot dll file. And what you wanna do with this is copy this into your C, Xbox games, I'm assuming it's gonna be Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, Double click on that to open it, open your content folder, and then come down here to nvngx underscore dlss. If you right click that file, come down here to properties, and come over here to details. It's gonna tell you which version you have installed. So if you have an older version installed in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, you simply go back to the file that you just downloaded, copy that file, Bring it over here into the content folder, paste it in. It's gonna ask you if you want to replace the file at the destination. Click replace the file in the destination and you are done. You have now done that manually. We don't know the folder structure yet for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, but it's gonna be in the Xbox games folder and it's gonna be very easy to find, I'm assuming it's gonna be the same layout. So these are the things that I'm doing to get ready for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. And the first thing that I'm gonna do when 2024 comes out tomorrow is to update my DLSS file. Presumably it's not gonna be the latest version. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just update that. And then we're ready to go. Then it's time to go flying and go testing and see what we get with this new sim. I know you guys are excited, I'm excited. So let's see what we get tomorrow. I hope you guys are having a great day and we will talk soon.